Hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got something from Thailand from the folks over at Golden Bay Supply down in San Francisco, California. Go Giants. Um, yeah, this is Suthros Organic Tom Yum Noodle Thai Cooking Set. But look at that. That looks freaking amazing. And. Speaking of amazing, we've got an uh, amazing person who's going to join us today. And that is Stumpy from Arkansas. What's happened, Mr. Stumpy? Hello there, sir. How are you? I am great. So what's new? What's going on? What's happening? Oh... I'm pretty stoked. I'm finishing my final exams in college, and I can close the book, so to speak, on college for a while. I'm excited to take a break from the academia and go into the workforce. Looking forward to it. That is sensational. So what are you, what are you gonna do? I mean, what, what else is there to do? It's gotta be something. Well, I've noticed that one of my skills is twirling a hat on one of my fingers. And I'm doing really good at that right now. Okay. I don't think I can make a career of it. You can. I have. You will. But if I could be a human fan, then so be it. Well, you could be your own fan. Yeah, I'm a fan of myself. Yeah, That's there you true. go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing uh, wrong with appreciating yourself all day long. Yeah. It's, it's true. I'm not opposed to, like, flipping burgers, you know? Aw, uh, you can, can do, do better than that. Thing. You can do better. I know. But if it comes to just, like, just getting work, and, like, oh, good, I can just get in and start working. I would love that. What you yeah. need is a little bit of inspiration from the late, great Momofuku Ando, the guy who invented instant noodles from the fine, fine tome Momofuku Ando Speaks, the guy who invented instant noodles. And yeah, I've got a quotation from the, the master. Oh, please share with per us. Perhaps this will give you some inspiration. Number 103. One gains nothing by pouring water and spreading nature on barren land from when nothing can be... Wait, what? This is kind of a run-on one. 103. One gains nothing by pouring water and spreading... Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Number 103, one gains nothing by pouring water and spreading manure on barren land that whence, from whence nothing can put forth buds. Ooh. Oh? Wise words. Okay, I'll go with that. That works. I don't know, that one's, it's not my favorite quote. I like my favorite quote. That ain't it. But I need the... Ah, oh, I need that. I need the strainer dealy. So, give me more new. I need new. My people need new. What's going on? Well, um, what? Why don't you talk about upstairs what neighbor friend? The upstairs neighbor friend that I named uh, Thumper. Yeah, Thumper has been thumping. He has more Thumpers upstairs, like little ones, that visit from time to time, and it causes quite a racket. Um, in fact, it was you that uh, inspired me to get speakers that um, are, can be very loud at, at peak wattage. Excellent. And uh, I chose to just blare some heavy metal um, during that day. And it 
really drowned out the noise pretty well. Nice. I gotta say. Maybe I was you just really have happy to make more the of the noise in, I guess, uh, you got angry and made more noise for you? No. Actually, the noise just persisted. <laughs> it was just annoying anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Okay, really quick. This uh, is uh, coconut milk. Out. There's coconut milk. There's paste. There's a seasoning. And then there's herbs. And then there's chili, chili stuff. But right now the deal is, is you take the uh, coconut milk and 200 mils of water, put it together and get it to a boil and start throwing these uh, seasonings in. So continue with your uh, grappling with the reality that is your upstairs neighbor. Uh, right. So um, basically the end of the story was it was still going just loud and annoying up until oh eleven midnight somewhere around there and uh, I ended up just taking a trazodone and I was out for the night <laughs> I woke up and it was all was quiet so wow yeah didn't, See, that's, didn't that's have a... to go up and bang on the door and say what the hell dude can you just like freaking calm down the noise can you restrain your children or what what's the deal man <laughs> Yeah. What is going on? And at what time? But I didn't have to do that. Oh, it was about midnight. Oh I yeah. See, mine asleep. mine are absolutely insane, but they don't midnight. No, no, that's too late. Yeah. Let's see. I added the uh, coconut milk, 200 mils of water, and then get it boiling, and then add the herbs. These are the herbs. Quite a bit of herbs, man. Very herbaceous. Well, why don't you tell us all about the amazing things that are going on in microbiology, what you're learning about that, and what strives you made towards beating microbiology. Oh, yeah. Um, fascinating stuff. Uh, learning about lymphocytes and phagocytes and the immune system. That's about the most complicated thing, aside from brain surgery, I believe there is, that exists. Um, immunology was something I was not expecting to learn in microbiology. However, it was an entire two chapters. Kind of timely. Of immune system. Yeah. And a lot of big words, man. Uh, what was, uh, agroglutination, huh. or agglutination. Angry gluten? Uh, angry glutens, I don't know, um, uh, you learn a lot about stem cells, and what stem cells, other cells come from stem cells, and what cells come from those cells. People back sometimes cells, say bad things about stem cells. cells, you know. Yeah. I don't know why. But they're actually critical. They're actually critical for the immune system, especially. Uh, they've done a lot of research on aging, and they're using stem cells in order to help generate uh, uh, more cells that are active in uh, the immune system. I just remember there's a and big they, negative pushback yeah. against stem cell research. Like, oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Well, if if it can help bypass or help with autoimmune problems, I think that you know more power to them for trying to solve autoimmune disorders yeah. that uh, are very detrimental to a working immune system. Autoimmune is basically the opposite of immune. So if you're autoimmune to something, it means that your immune system is working against itself and not mm. working properly. So stem cells can help in that area. Kind of like an autobiography. That's just new stuff I learned. Yeah, yeah. I get you. So that's something I learned, 
and I also learned um, some details about uh, viruses and bacteria and what sort of symptoms they would um, induce in people because I had learned that my class is a prerequisite for nursing. Uh. So nursing students have to take this class and learn about uh, uh, viral type of things. So you get a really good base on what viruses are, what they do, um, and Sounds it kind violent. of breaks down the components of it. It's virulent. You know? Ah, <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Well, how does it affect the so weather? So it's a very interesting class. What's that? How, how do these things affect the weather? They affect how the is weather it, because... How is it that Rudolph Giuliani didn't get sick until just very recently? Like, he was, like, immune. Oh, yeah. There's that the question. coronavirus, yeah. Yeah, he should have totally been sick by now. So, like, I mean, he did. He's got it. Also, isn't isn't telling us about that in the present tell us that? Is that like a HIPAA violation? I know that's an important thing. Uh, oh, HIPAA. I thought you said HIPPO. Hi, Mimi. Uh, how you doing? Conjuring of you have a question hungry, for our hippo. guest today? What are you going to ask uh, Dr. Todd? I mean, uh-oh. What are you going to ask Dr. Stumpy? <laughs> I think I name drop you every episode. Yeah. They'll know you're, they'll figure out who you are. What's that? Oh, you have binoculars. Do you have a question for Stumpy about your binoculars? What are you going to ask? What are they? Um, Stumpy, they have flowers on them. Well, they have flowers, okay. Flowers? And um, Miriam also, enjoys flowers. There's it, also various bacteria that are growing on the surface of these uh, binoculars. You know what I learned because, recently? I had no idea, but roses? Yeah. They're like lice that hang out on roses. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, lice and mites and all sorts of stuff. I did not know that. I find that fascinating. I don't like, oh, yeah. I, I don't find them friendly, but I find it fascinating. Okay, yeah. let's see. Here. I think we're about there. So let's do this. Let's do this. It's like one of my favorite commercials is the five hour energy commercial. There's a guy like with a hand on his face and go, and then all of a sudden, the guy is like, like he pounds the fine hour energy, and he's like tying up his tie, and he's like, "Let's do this!" Like, I don't know. Like, That's similar to my favorite commercial, which is uh, Randy Macho Man Savage snap into a Slim Jim. Is, he, yeah. is it snap or is it is it step? I always thought it was step into a Slim. It doesn't really make sense, but. I guess you could just I get into a snap. Slim Jim. I think you're probably right. Because in the commercial, he does snap it in half. Ah! Alright. Oh. Okay. So I made the Tom Yum. And let's give it a taste. I'll take a new. I'm gonna do it this way because I really like how this is probably gonna work out. Oops. But I think it's gonna need one thing. Okay, here's our noodle. And then here's our broth, which is very thick. But yeah, I'm right. One more minute. We need one thing. 
one thing. So since it is organic, or vegan, it doesn't have any fish sauce. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I almost dropped an almost full bottle of Red Boat. That would be oh. bad. Do you realize how bad oh, I'd be in such deep trouble? Oh my God. Dropping fish sauce all over the kitchen and me being blind and like not able to clean it up. That would be scary. There we go. Butamus. That is lovely. You can't see it because you're on a, a tele. You're using a broadband telecommunications, but uh, if you weren't, you'd be able to see it. Yeah, not bidirectional using protocol. Side of vision. Uh, and unfortunately, also, it's not smell-o-vision. It smells pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah. Tut tut. I get the reference. I love it. It's, it's good. Smell-o-vision. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a couple bits of shrooms here. And I've got some tomatoes. Question, Stumpy, how do you store your coriander? I've always been thinking, at least for the last day or two, uh, that what is the correct way to store it? I mean, you can put it in the crisper, but it just doesn't work all that well. It always ends up just getting, you know, wilty. A little bit of Thai basil. What say you? I suppose that while it's still fresh, once you use the portion that you're going to use, you can chop it up into uh, oh. uh, bits and uh, put it in a container and freeze it. Uh, no. You can't, I mean, have you ever frozen lettuce? Yeah, it doesn't come out well. Yeah. Same thing with mung bean sprouts, that doesn't work either. But if you chop it finely anyway, it's going to wilt, but it's going to still retain flavor. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about as far as we can go on this. Uh, thank you for Stumpy for, for joining us today. I'll get back to you once the pictures are taken, the video's edited, and everything's in the can. But uh, do you have any parting pleasure. thoughts? Yes. Um, if you hear a loud noise come from me, coming from your sink, don't stick your hand down the drain. Words of wisdom. Listen. Words of wisdom. All right. Well, have a good one, my friend, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Soon. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was Stumpy from Little Rock, Arkansas, doing his magic dance over the telephono. Um, we were going to have our author friend, uh, Mr. Bella, but he, he insisted on eating and that we don't really, we kind of frown upon our friends sustaining themselves. But here we are and here we go.
Well, cool. Thanks to the folks over at Golden Bay Supply for shooting this over. I've been on a serious diet the last couple days. It's going to be hard to stay away from this stuff because this is yummy. Anyways. Yeah. Sutharos. Go to www.goldenbaysupply.com. Check them out. They've got a whole big long uh, article and stuff about these. They're really good. Hey, it's Mom's Ramarader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.